Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this weekend's test server. So this weekend, we are testing a new robot, as you can see here, Core Falcon. And uh, this robot at level 8, it has 105,000 HP and its speed is 44 kilometers an hour. Uh, you can equip it with three heavy weapons. And when you are in normal mode, like this you are able to block 66 percent damage dealt to you so that is quite a lot of damage but the downside is you can only fire one weapon when you use the fangs out ability which you'll see me use here in a bit just waiting for the sub player when i'm able to use all three weapons uh, this is the fangs out ability i'm able to fire everything at my opponent but at the same time i will take full damage when i'm in that uh, mode so you are sacrificing, you know, the damage part uh, or being able to block damage rather in exchange for being able to dish out a lot of damage. So that's how they've uh, actually balanced out this robot. I kind of like that idea. That way it's not too overpowered. Uh, if you want to use, you know, all three weapons, then you've got to be mindful that you are going to take on uh, more damage. So as you can see here, this player, you know, I'm going to fire everything at him. But I'm also going to be uh, taking on more damage from him when he fires at me. And uh, this weapon that you are seeing me fire is called the Flux Weapon. So the Flux Weapon uh, we are testing as well uh, this weekend. I'm going to do a separate video I think on this. Um, it's essentially a heavy gecko. And um, I believe it has a range of 1100 meters as well. Trying to see what does this player have. Maybe I can hit him almost pretty close. There we go. So with this bot, you've got to be really careful, I find, of, you know, just jumping in, trying to do damage. Because if the other person has, um, like, a close-range weapon, such as a Thunder, for example, and uh, they got, I don't know, the same bot as you, there's a very good chance you are going to go down very quickly because you are going to take on a lot more damage. Man, I got caught up on there because of my guns. My weapons are too big. It's acting as a hook. I can't move. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's like dragging on the ground. The weapons are so big. Let's try to jump and see if I can hit this guy. There we go. In case you're wondering about my, my name... Um, it's referencing Crocodile Dundee. I don't know if you've, uh, if you guys have seen that that movie. It's a really old uh, movie. It shows my age, but <laughs> it's there's one part where um, this guy holds him up and he he <laughs> he has a knife, and then Crocodile Dundee takes out his knife and he goes, "Call that a knife? <laughs> that's a knife." So that's kind of where I was going with my name. Trying to wear down this guy. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Surprise! I'm uh, alive for so long here. Trying to wither down that player. And the other thing that I should mention too, because I know you guys are going to be asking me that, um, you know, this question. Now, when you jump and you go into uh, the fangs out mode, you don't go into stealth, so you can actually still get hit. Uh, which is nice because uh, you know you don't want all these robots to have uh, the stealth ability it kind of gets uh, stupid after a while so yep so I'm gonna hit this guy with all three Zeus you know this uh, this player in front of me with the Galahad is actually very smart because a lot of us are running uh, like redeemers and Zeus and stuff or the oh man the flux weapon he's able to block a lot of that trying to uh, zap this uh, Lancelot on the side here if he hits me now with those aphids I'm gonna take full damage oh I took on a lot of damage
I think the other team might be slightly shorthanded. I don't want to go for that beacon in there because I want this game to uh, last a little bit longer. Right, let's see if we can try to hit this uh, player here. So uh, this is what I mean. You've got to be very careful of getting too close uh, because he has thunders so he can actually do more damage uh, to me. But I'm going to I'm gonna run uh, the thunder build here. I think for this bot, this is actually my favorite because it reminds me of a fury thunder. But you kind of have the jump and you know you you can block a lot of damage but you can only fire the one the one thunder which is nice i kind of like the balance of that but yeah let me know in the comment section what you think of uh, this ability and you know if you do use it you can't block you know the damage but if you want to block it you can only use one weapon i really like the idea of that so i'm glad that they are trying to consider different ways to balance uh, robots out uh, especially this one because I like where they're going with that I'm trying to see if I can get around the corner here and you see how he jumped at me and I only had well actually I was able to fire all three but then just at that moment you know I switched over to the normal mode and that's the mode which allows me to block that damage I don't want to go for the beacon on the right side of me because I only have uh, two players I want this game to last as long as possible here I think there's a uh, yeah this player is uh, behind here but I should probably go for this player is this two versus two this might be a two versus two situation here let me see if I can take him out hit him with all three uh, thunders And that should be game. So I didn't get to use... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think I can actually still take on a lot of damage too. Because I'm taking on a splash here. But uh, let's go into this mode. So that we can use all three weapons. I think he's going to take me out still. Yep, he still took me out. Oh, oh my gosh. That was the kitchen sink right there. <laughs> I think it was that one player. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. No, it's uh, it's the other guy. It's the other one in front of him. He had the uh, the thermite. So I think what I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to run another game. I'm gonna switch up some of these builds here. Maybe run tridents or something just so that you guys can uh, see uh, that build. And uh, yep, yeah, let me know though in the comment section below what you think of uh, this robot so far. Okay, so game number two we have dropped in on Canyon Map, and. I'm going to start off here with the Trident build. So my thinking here is that this might actually be a good counter to other Falcons. So while they can block, you know, 66% damage, I'm not sure if it applies uh, to only direct weapons or all weapons. Because if it doesn't, uh, this might be a very good counter because then you can actually do uh, splash damage uh, to them. So I'm going to try to see if I can get some uh, splash damage in on uh, this player here. They actually did take on quite a bit of damage. Uh, they are now in stealth mode. I think that is the Mercury which we are aiming at. I'm just going to wait for my Tridents to load up here uh, because this player behind here I think might be in the Falcon. So let's go ahead and let's jump. No, I think that's a... Is that a butch? I think that's a butch. And that's uh, one build that I want to run as well. I've got to remember to run the uh, Redeemer because I didn't run the Redeemer in the last game. Just waiting for my... So this... I'm going to target this player here because I want to see if he takes on, you know, that full damage uh, from me. It's really hard to tell. Maybe you guys can tell me if you've uh, tested that out. You know, is the 66% like does it apply to splash damage? Because if it doesn't, uh, that actually might be a good counter to, you know, other falcons out there. Just looking to see what these guys are running here. Let me. I'm gonna run the thermite. Get this out of my lineup. 
Maybe I can lob it over and get that angle in. Oh, that would have hit him actually really good too. Had that extreme angle on him. Let's just knock down his uh, shield here. And that's the downside to uh, using your... Whoa! I was going to say, the downside to using your ability, I'm going to jump so that, come on, jump. Get those uh, thermites in. Oh, man, just as I fired, I think he lagged. I'm just going to hang around here first. <laughs> I'm hanging around because I don't, <laughs> don't want to drop, otherwise he's going he's gonna to see me. <laughs> he, got, uh, he got burnt up there. That was funny, I was using, I was using this weird uh, ledge here as a way to avoid being hit. This guy is hanging around too. Let's get those uh, thermites in on this player. Looks like we got a uh, fury back there too. Let me just try to knock down this guy's uh, shield here. I want to really hit this uh, fury though. When I get that uh, the fangs out ability, I might actually go for it, because he's uh, he's pretty close and he can take on a lot of damage. So let's see if we can get that arc in. Nope, he was able to block some of it behind that cover there. Pretty good hit. I might be able to hit, take out that player. Yep. We need to, uh, we need to get into center and get a beacon here. Oh man, back up, back up. I'm gonna hit this player just as he lands here because he is still in the fangs out mode, so he's gonna take on uh, full damage uh, from me because I hit him just as he kind of used his ability there trying to evade this uh, raging too I'm gonna try to go for this uh, raging here I'm just waiting for the right moment so that all my weapons are loaded up and then when I go in I can hit him with all three Oh, oh, man, run, run, this guy's got thunders, come on. We've got to knock his, uh, his shield, actually. There's a uh, player here, let's see if I can get him. All three. That was a lot of damage. Oh man, that was a lot of damage. It landed right on top of him too. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is, I'm just looking to see how many of the players are still alive. Uh, because I want to kill off this bot so I can run the Redeemer. Getting hit on the side here. I want to run the Redeemer, make sure that I get that into uh, this video. So let's go ahead and let's run this build. This can actually be very deadly too. It's interesting, we're seeing a lot of uh, Rijings being used here, that's kind of nice. Waiting for the right time to jump in and use 
the Fangs Out ability. I think I'm going to do it now because this guy's right here. Can hit him with all three Redeemers. Oh man, popping weapons off. Come on, this guy too. Oh no, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I've got to back up. There's another guy. You know what? Let's go for it. I'm going to die anyways. Might as well try to get that damage in on him. And uh, let's try this one here because I haven't I haven't run this one. Uh, this one is sort of like a beacon runner. <laughs> it's like a beacon runner because you can't really fire when you're in normal mode. So I've got to wait until this guy gets out of his, uh, his mode here so that I can actually get him. Hoping that they actually have another, yeah, that they have another bot because I didn't really get to use this. I guess that's the final one. So I didn't really get to use this build, uh, but essentially when you jump like this, you can use your two. And then when you get out of that mode, you essentially become a beacon runner. But anyways, uh, let's see how well uh, we did here. So... Not bad, uh, we were down a player, but looks like they also had a player that either left or, uh, you know, they lost connection or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are on the Falcon Robot. What do you think about, you know, its ability? Do you think it's well balanced? Let me know in the comment section. And uh, as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.